N. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good. Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. We're going to take a look at the stock market. I posted uh, into the room here what happened yesterday because it was an outlier event. Uh, if you'll see here uh, the difference between the Dow Jones on the right and also the E-mini the e on the left, you'll notice it went straight up. Very, very unusual. And, uh-oh, no chart. Let's try it again. Uh Bear with me here one second, and I'll do my best to get it up here. Well, I know you're dealing with, uh, you know, frickin' frack over here with the old uh, stuff here. Hold on one second, uh, and we'll get this up here to take a look at it here. And then we got to talk about something pretty serious. <laughs> Hell, everything's serious these days. Okay, you can see the movement here in the E-mini S&P, okay? And then you see the movement in the Dow. There was virtually no correction. These are these are just uh, eight point moves in the S and P, and a move that went 70 handles. We made one major correction in the Dow Jones. That was late, right before noon. The market came down, and I know some people don't believe in the 382. Johnny, put your hand down. Everybody knows you believe in 382. It goes right to. This is a Dow Jones, folks, trading at uh, you know roughly 30 some thousand. Okay. And explain to me how it can go to that exact tick. I mean, to, to the to the last decimal. You're going out three decimal places. To the thousandth decimal point, it hit the exact 382 and then went proceeded to go another 300 points higher. Now, all of these computers are out there. and putting They're putting all the other stuff in. But for the life of me, I can never figure out how it can go to that exact number. That just literally knocks my socks off. But. You know, sometimes people like to go barefoot. That's basically the bottom line. Uh, I want to mention, because it's so important, uh, that we do have a, a commodity that is, uh, we believe is getting very, very close to something uh, very significant. I'm trying to sell myself on the uh, idea, and that's why I'm going to bring it up again. This is the uh, natural gas, one we've been looking at uh, ever since we had that top. You see the ABCD top that came in at 10 at 10 and now we're trading 90% lower. Are you kidding me? Well, well, 80, 80, 80, yeah, that's 90% lower down at this level here. Uh, in fact, it went below two dollars, folks, from 10 to below two dollars in a matter of 10 months. And now what we're doing is we're setting at something that may be significant, and for several reasons. You'll notice on this chart there was your low, then it goes up to 10. And then it comes down, up and down, the ABCD. We tried it at 287, got out at 277, didn't work. It proceeded to go down to 194. The key point is if you look from the low to the high that it made and then take the high to the low, that day comes in tomorrow, folks, the 30th of – thirty first. excuse me, the 31st of March. So very, very interesting to, uh, to uh, look at that, very important. So let's pay attention. We got price and time squaring up at this time, and uh, you ought to take a look at buying it down there at around that uh, 204, 205 level. Somewhere it should be bottoming near that. I haven't seen where it's trading recently, but let's just take a quick look at it, and uh, we should be. Uh, oh dear, we should be okay. Son of a gun, just missed my order there. I on it. <laughs> Hold on with me, folks. Uh, Billy Ray's got to make a little change in plans here on something. So, give me a give me a second here, and uh, we'll get her done. There we go. Okay, now we're going to uh, tomorrow. By the way, is a big grain report, and Mr. Uh, Rich Anderson will be with us. He'll be uh, talking to us about uh, the the planning intentions report. And of course, you know we're extremely bullish soybeans because we were able to buy the soybeans this past. Uh, week or so because we went exactly to the exact almost to the exact penny it went a few pennies below it where we had a big move you know down in the soybeans and that was a that was a big move so we were certainly you know glad to be able to uh, pay attention to that I'm going to show the chart so you guys can 
just remember because you know we, a lot of you folks were involved with that and we took a very nice profit and now what we're doing is here's here's the chart coming up here right now you'll be able to see it this is from this was from Sunday and then we bought this thing on uh, Tuesday uh, last week <laughs> of course let's get this here a little bit higher we're gonna have Mike Moore I believe on uh, at the break here again he just finished the show and uh, Frankly, I don't follow uh, crack spreads or any spreads like that, but he's extremely good at it. Okay, here's the soybean. This is July soybeans. These are soybeans that were planted and harvested. Uh, they're the last of the group. See, we've got April, May, June, July, August, September. These are the only beans you're going to see until October, November. So they could be in valuable supply if something happens. So we hit the exact 61% retracement there at uh, 60 uh, – <laughs> Let's get the right number in. At uh, what is it, number 14, uh, 1492. And we put a stop here below it, and we luckily didn't get hit, went up against us for about $300, and then rallied uh, well over $4,000 up into today. And since we have the report tomorrow, we not you don't want to get into a report with a, a major report. So what we're going to do is we take in and off and we're waiting to buy if the market gives us a chance with a negative report. Negative reports at this time of the year, folks, they mean as much as uh, trying to freeze butter. And if you've ever done that, you'll realize what a, a fallacy of trying to do something that can never be done. So just uh, keep an eye on that. Okay, now, the next thing I want to talk to you about is the, the hogs. And I want to get to you an idea of what we've been watching here in the hogs because something just happened that I haven't been able to check, and that is the hog report was just repeated, and I want to go through it. I'll show you where we are. Uh, I had uh, We had an order to, to buy these hogs. Uh, they had a very strong run up into this area, and now what we're trying to do is to buy, uh, what did we buy here? Oh, well, something, something even bigger happened, folks. Hold on just a second here. We just made a huge, and I've got to check something because this is, this is serious business now. Okay, whether this means much or not, I don't know, but we're going to find out for sure. Okay, we just made a very important number here in the crude oil, folks. I don't know if it means much or not, but this number up here, that 7456, is a number we've been waiting for for a considerable amount of time. The risk on this is, a, you know, quite, a, uh, what do you call it? It's not, a, it's not major because the market's relatively quiet. Let me get rid of this. Sorry, folks. I'm trying to do so many things at once, and sometimes when you try to watch and chew, uh, chew gum at the same time, it gets a little bit uh, gets a little bit harder. Oh shucks, I can't get it up, so it's not a problem of putting this chart up for higher. Let's go back to the hogs and uh, see where we are because that's an important one also, and I will talk to you about that. Just give me a second, and uh, I'm just so lucky to be able to be doing this. All right, uh, here's where we are. We've got the hogs here. Now what we're going to do now is we are going to come over here and uh, – hello, operator. Let's get this right. Uh-huh. Okay. All right. This is the hog chart. And then what we're going to do is we're going to look at an updated hog chart to see what the hogs are doing. This is what I do during the day. Sometimes I just sit here and talk, but most of the time – there it is. That's the hog chart. Now the hog report just came out. Hogs have been going down for months. Now we want to see – if in fact they're going to be doing anything other than that so uh let's get the hog chart up uh, and see if anything happened hold on just a second i need to put in a uh, stop here and a few things and then we're gonna take a look at what's going on here hold on one second here Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously 
When you sign up for the Tiger Forex Report, you also gain instant access to Teddy's 60 minute webinar archive. He just hosted Forex Strategies and Fundamentals What is Behind the Tiger Forex Report? For all the details and to start your 30 day Tiger Forex Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tigers Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFN. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating Investors. Call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, we're back, folks, and the evidently I've either got the hog hog report wrong or something, but the doggone thing is uh, not moving, and maybe the hog report didn't say anything. That's why. So I'll double check later when we get off the air. We're going to have Mike Moore as our guest uh, at the break because he's a, a specialist, in, especially in the, in the energy complex, and we have this area in the, uh, hot, the natural gas that we're looking at so closely uh, down at that area. The fact is, I should bring this up to. Uh, show you where we are here the time goes so fast when i do two hours at a time it just absolutely absolutely blows me away that it goes so quickly and we'll get this up here this is one of the ones that uh when you look at this you'll be able to see that you're watching something that uh there is i didn't put the hog chart up um, al because uh i can't i don't i don't really know whether that uh I work on two different computers, folks. I have a trading computer, and then I have the computer that I use for here. And so as I'm doing this, I've got to go back and forth. And when you're, when you're at the eighth furlong looking at the finish line, sometimes it, uh, it's a little different. But, folks, let me – you know, I, I do this show uh, – it's not not hard because I'm sitting here just talking to people and things, but uh, it, this is really what keeps me young. I mean, it really does. I, uh, I I have to tell you a story. I think I've told this before. When I got divorced in 1985, uh, well, late 85. It was, I think it was January of 86. Actually, we were in the uh, office. My the the priest was there. Father Dennis, our attorney, Mike Davis, and also our accountant was there. Uh, Jack Fletcher. And, uh, you know, we were going over a bunch of stuff. And, of course, I had been with Drexel for a long time. And all of my uh, all of the money that I made in bonuses went into Drexel stock, uh, which was quite a bit over a six year period. And it amounted to seven figures. And uh, we were going through this and look at you know all the figures and stuff. And my accountant uh, said to me, he said, boy, he said, uh, you come you've done really well after losing that million dollars back in 1974. 
And my ex-wife did not know that because it, we kept everything separate. And she says, how could you lose a million dollars in, in the summer of 1974 when you took the whole family, 10 of us, to Hawaii for three weeks, well, almost three weeks? And I said, well, I said, I knew I could make the money back. And at the time, it was a lot of money, but, you know, didn't really mean very much. And she says, I can't believe it. She says, you know, you're going to sit there someday when you're old and you're going to be sit there in front of your machine and you're going to die doing what you love to do. And my, my accountant said to the, to the attorney, he says, God, Mike, he said, wouldn't you love to have a job like that? And I, they both laughed, and uh, both of them have so, soon, so long time passed away. But I, I'll always remember that because it was a big turning point in my life. I had been, I was working with the Commodity Corporation at the time, and it was a lot of fun. In fact, someone asked me a question yesterday that, that I didn't get a chance to answer. What was my uh, most memorable part of the uh, the Commodity Corp? Well, uh, you know, there in, in Princeton, or New Jersey, uh, they have a beautiful uh, campus there, a dormitory-like uh, of places where you can stay. And they, they had trading and teaching and all this stuff. And I was there for probably about five months. And then after they knew I knew how to put in an order, I got to live wherever I want to. So I went back to live in Avila Beach, uh, California. But my most memorable time was I'd been with uh, I'd been with them for about uh, a little about a year and a half maybe two years done I'd done very well you know I was I was doing extremely well and uh, I had a position on in Jenny Mays which were still trading uh, they were trading a little more actively than the Treasury bonds and I really thought that interest rates were getting ready to turn I was wrong they didn't turn until uh, in August of '87 uh, I believe. Uh, is when they finally turned right after the big crash. But I had a position on, and we, we had a rule that if I had a loss at the end of the third day, that I would get out. So I got out on the third day, and uh, I was going to go back into the position because you could go back in. The rule, you just two, you just have two chances to do it. If you have two, three days where you lose, you can't trade that for a while. So I go in, I, I get out, and so I'm going to buy it on the, the next day, and, uh, you know, they never said, gee, why are you doing this? Because you knew you're way ahead and you had a, lo a loss. It wasn't a big loss. It was like 2%. So I get ready to buy it on the third day. Henry Kaufman of Phil, uh, Phil, uh, Solomon Brothers came on before the market opened. And he said, this is the bottom of the interest rate markets. Uh, and uh, interest rates are going to start going lower. And this is the bottom of the Jenny May and bond markets. And the son of the guns opened almost limit up. And I never got to buy them. And they went crazy. They went up three, four thousand dollars before the slightest correction. And I missed that. I missed that whole move. That is my most memorable. Other than that, it's the same thing every day. I don't didn't do a radio show at that time, but I was on FNN quite a bit in Los Angeles. I was on there at least every two weeks. I would drive down there to meet with Bill Griffith and uh, Elaine and have a lot of fun. You know, it's just uh, they were great people. Ron and Sana was there. And some some really wonderful people there. Just just still remember all that stuff. Oh, <laughs> some of the names escape me, but uh, it was a, it was a lot of fun. Okay, now let's get back and take a look at some of these other markets that we're looking at here today because uh, we have some fun moving, and we're just going to find out if they're going to be, you know, really crazy or they're going to be absolutely bonkers. We this we don't know, so that's what we're going to be watching here. Uh, this morning, we got the stocks are starting to move up again, uh, actually quite a bit, which is good. And the other thing we need to watch here is the crude oil and see what's going on with that. I think I'll put this crude oil chart up. It's probably not going to work, but we're going to look at it anyway just for kicks and giggles. Hold on just a second here because now, hold on just a minute. All right, there's where we are. Okay, get it up here. Okay, I'm going to bring this chart up, and you're going to see how we try to handle this without too much trouble. Shut the front door and raise the rent. Hold on. Only take me a second, boys and girls. I hit the wrong button here again. Holy moly, guacamole. All right, there it is right there. Okay. All right, there's the crude oil chart. It hit. Our number eight was uh, 74.56. And it hit 74.56. So all I do is you put a stop at 74.66, and you only risk $100. That's all you're going to risk trading a contract that's worth 75 grand. 
If I lose and it breaks from there, I'll look at it again and not risk very much more than that. That's pretty much it. Actually, I probably, I'll, let's just, let me, I'm going to change my stop here for just a second because that might be a little too small with that. Ah, heck with it. I've got, I've got so much going on. I don't need to worry about that. Okay, let's move on here and we'll uh, talk to, uh, oh, we've got a break coming up here in a few seconds. And then I think I will anyway. Doing two two tra uh, two each day sometimes makes it a little more difficult than than others. But that's it. Listen, if you have any questions, folks, it's eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. If you want to call in and ask any questions, I'll be more than happy to uh, to answer them for you. But that's pretty much uh, what we'll be watching. I think we're going to have. Uh, I believe. Do we have Mike Moore set up, Al, for the next show to give us a little help? Okay, we're going to get him at the break, and then we'll be back. 877-927-6648. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my Gold Report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we've got a caller from Arizona. Jerry, how are you doing today? Hi, sir. Just talked to you the other day. I just uh, wanted to call back. I, I appreciate uh, everything that you do. i um, very, very thankful. So, I just uh, I got short at that tippy top of that ES futures today, yes. you know, around the around the eighty level, and uh, okay. I don't know if I should hold this. I was going to try for tracing down to thirty eight percent, maybe. 
I don't know. Well, uh, that's, you, you, the one thing is you got a heck of a move, so you don't want it to go against you by very much. So make sure you lock in at least uh, at least 10 or 15 points. You know, this is a short-term trade, so if you do that, you have to think about, you know, what you're risking, and that's uh, that's the main thing. Okay, yeah, I'm just, just risking a little bit. I mean, uh, I'm studying the, the Fibonacci retracement, you know, and uh, I, guess, I guess you just go by the – you know the the most recent history on on how you know because I know sometimes it'll go back down to sixty one percent you know and then you're looking at uh, yes I, I got it thirty eight percent on there just kind of like uh you know I'm just kind of kind of experimenting with this I, I I would I really want to nail this down with the with the Fibonacci retracements and the you know the A B C D stuff well look, you know if you show, if you sold it up into the eighties it say say forty eighty and it went down to 4060. I mean that's $1000. And now if you're still in it, you've given half of it back, correct? Yes, sir. Okay, so don't let it don't let it go any more than where it is. I mean, you got to put a stop in so that you don't risk very much. Your fact is you're not you haven't uh, you know, you're very close to your break even if you sold it at 480. So make sure you put your stop in at at break even, but if you're looking at short-term patterns and you and you follow it closely, you can see that it made a very nice uh, three drive to a bottom pattern down there at that uh, 4060 level. So it's all about risk control, Jeremy. That's what you got to do. Yes. Just think about not how much money you're going to make, but how much you have to risk, and you'll be just fine. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I'm a, you know, consider me a student of yours. I, I know it's not official, but I'm going to be, uh, <laughs> I'm going to put my heart and soul into this. And I, there's no way you could lose, I don't think, if you put your heart and soul into something. Yeah, well, no. th this is true. If you never give up and you put your heart into it, you're going to make it. It might take you a couple years, but uh, you'll be able to make it. I feel very strongly about that. So keep that in mind. Yes, all right? sir. Yeah. I appreciate the information you've already given me. It's uh, okay. Uh, I'm, I'm into it a little bit. The one you emailed me, so I appreciate that. All right. All right, buddy. You take it easy, and thanks for calling in. We really appreciate it. Yeah, thank you, sir. If you ever want to do lunch sometime in Tucson, I'll, I'll buy you lunch. <laughs> <laughs> okay thank you so you, much you, you let me know thank you all right you bet okay yeah. one of our listeners has asked if i would put the uh the email chart of what the uh hold on one second of what the ai program sent said for today so i'll do that if you'll bear with me here one second and uh get up here to see it but there's uh where we are we only came off 20 points folks all day uh, in the S&P, and you can see here this still moves higher. And if you stop and think of what happened yesterday, and this is really super duper important. Hold on one second. This move that we had yesterday, I mean, this was this was flat out mind boggling. And I've been trading the S&P for a long time. I happen to be long for part of it, but I I underestimate how high it could go. And I did okay, but anyway, look at this. You see this. All we've done, and remember, we went way up here. All we've done is make a 20-point retracement today. 20-point retracement. That's not very much at all. So uh, just keep in mind that this thing, you know, has a lot of power to possibly go, uh, you know, a lot higher. So that's what I'm looking at. I hope it helps. Uh, people keep asking me about the natural gas. Uh, I'm still waiting for uh, my fill. I haven't seen the thing pop up or anything, so... We'll do one thing at a time, and that's all we really can do, really, when you're watching these things, is to see what there's ha what's happening with them. So bear with me one second, folks. Uh, I have to uh, change a few things here to make sure that I have my orders correct and everything. So uh, that's pretty good. Let me move up here to the next one, and we'll double-check this here. Hold on, see where we are. Yes, sir, we're doing okay. Now, what we're doing now is we have our stop up there. Uh, right above the, the high, at the, we're only risking $200 in the crude oil contract. That's all we're going to risk is, is only $200. Now, should it get, I don't think it will, but should it break below 7400 which isn't very far away, then what we'll do is we'll bring our stop down to the uh, 70 uh, break-even point of 74 uh, 56. That's where we uh, where we put it on. So let's keep that in mind as we're going. It's all about risk control, folks. I know I show the patterns. These patterns are good for two things. One, they tell you when to get in and they tell you when to get out. Because if you're wrong, they're going to whack you on the head really quick and you're going to find out that you're wrong. And that's basically the bottom line of, of what you're what what you're watching today. So that's the key. 
it's not how much you make it's how much money you don't lose and that is the real the real important part of what we're looking at here today i think i posted the email i know what somebody wanted they wanted that uh that four hour chart that uh, i think is running the whole there's the one everybody wants hold on see this is the one that uh that i think is this is the oh this is the christmas day big daddy rabbit type trade and uh believe me folks i uh I really think we're going to get there probably tomorrow or maybe Monday. But uh, look at this. We've broken above here. We got this beautiful 135 pattern. Here's where we, we, this was where we covered our short and went long. And of course, we got out of the long way too soon. Then you pulled off here. I didn't get anything that day because I, I missed it. I was doing something else. We were waiting for a 61% retracement and it didn't get there. It only made 50%. Then it made the ABCD uh, up here today. Now we're looking at this. Is, uh, we got up to this level right here. But this is where we're going, folks. We got another, uh, another 50, 60 handles up here to that 4130. And if you did the daily on that 4130, it's going to knock your socks off because that's everything that we teach. That's uh, mother, God, and country, just like this uh, natural gas trade. You know, it's the same thing. You've got a place where it's going to be really, really crazy, and you got to watch it. That's for sure. Okay? So it's a very, very important. And let me double-check where the natural gas is. We're still trading it at uh, 2.10, which is good. It's not very it's not very crazy or anything, and that's the real thing that uh, we're looking at. So let's move here and show this thing again because I, I really like this one. You know, if you don't like it, then don't trade it. If you do like it, trade it. <laughs> That's the bottom line here. I was hoping to get Mike back on because I wanted to hear more about these crack spreads. I started, I, I started doing spreads back in the in the 70s, but then later on, you know, when I was at Drexel and stuff, I never did spreads. But spreads is where I really do it. The master of spreads, from my point of view, is John Jameson out of uh, the Isle of Man. I talk to John every single day, seven days a week, and boy, does he know spreads. My goodness. He saw this rally coming. If you watch the trade, but you see, or listen to the trade, what you see newsletter, he's been very thinking we're going to get to that 41, 42 level, and the charts are now verifying it. Yep, that's pretty much it. Now, the natural gas is just chart that I have up here. You're looking at this three drive to a bottom. We're trading. When I, this was out, it was around 219. But right now, we are setting uh, at this level right here. Now, the the the, the contract for April, which which uh, is no longer there, uh, went below $2. Uh, the, it shouldn't have gone more than 203, but it went to 194 at one time. And I think it went off. I, well, I shouldn't say because I saw it about an hour before it went off the board. It was around 199, so it could have gone either way. But this is trading very nicely. It's not crazy. It's not jumping around, at least not yet. Hey, let's take a break. 877-927-6648. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. 
everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, we've got a caller on the line today. Al, what can I do for you? Oh, this is Max. Max. It's Max. <laughs> I saw AI and I thought it meant out. Max, what can I do for you? Okay, I was uh, wondering about your AI program. I, I yes, see sir. you map it with a, a two-inch, uh, I'm sorry, a two-minute two uh, time period. Is there a reason you use a two-minute, not a five-minute or a ten-minute? Yes, minute? sir. Yeah, there certainly is. This is based on a concept that a man named Dennis Reagan over in Bakersfield, California, showed me. Uh, he passed away in 1991. I met him in 89, so I worked with him for two years. He was the man who made it. He was the head engineer for the Tomahawk missile. He had on his office walls there, he had pictures of uh, Mr. Reagan and some other really important people. Uh, uh, what's his, uh, Schwarzkopf. Uh, was there? I mean, just just incredibly smart guy. Very very eccentric. Uh, had a lot of different. You know, he's paranoid. <laughs> but anyway, he was really smart. And he he we had a MIPS computer, which means it's mil millions of integers per second. MIPS. And basically, what that did is you put it in, and then you tell it to find something that is repeating over and over again. And we started doing thousands, millions, millions of things we'd go through. And when it got to a point where it said, yes, it's answered your question, and we asked that what was the most successful indicator of when a market is going to turn of any of the time frames from one minute all the way out to 30 minutes, and it was two minutes. And two minutes is pretty good. Now, you can go to four minutes or eight minutes, but for two minutes, that's what we used. That's what we did. And so we started making predictions on this. It's really simple, Max. What, what it is is what happens today happened two days ago. In other words, it happens on Monday in the market. It happens on Wednesday in the market. Now, one will be a high. One will be at a low. It will be within 10 minutes sometimes, but it is amazing how it uh, I kept that as a secret for many years he passed away in 94 I, I never really said much about it I wrote a book about it but I never said anything about it uh, until recently when I do these day trading sessions because the folks are interested in you know how I do some of this stuff and how I come up to the exact minute on some of these things and I sometimes I hit them sometimes I don't but that's what it is it's basically that and it is a true neural network uh, it's run through Neuralware and a whole bunch of other stuff that's there. The, the program to run it was 
10 grand at the time. I think now it's about 1500. That's 30 years ago. So I hope that answers the question. And if you want more, just email me and I'll be happy to give you a discounted rate of the AI book from uh, $200 down to 25 bucks. And I'll donate that to uh, charity. Charity is running into third race at Hialeah tomorrow. So I thought I'd let you know that too. Anyway, does that answer your question, my friend? Yes, I, I noticed that I've been using a, a 10 minute chart to, to, huh? to condense the, the line. Sure. And, uh, uh, but I noticed today uh, it's it's pretty close to uh, it's a uh, Tuesday, you know. Yes, it was uh, it was right on. It, it, you know, sometimes they are, sometimes they aren't. It's not a it's not a big deal. You know, you get close enough. That's all you really need to do. Okay, thank you very much. Hey, where are you? Where are you in Florida? Oh, out in the middle of nowhere, with one foot on an alligator, uh, Loxahatchee, <laughs> Florida. Oh well. You're out in the middle of the of the uh, swamp area, huh? Yeah, you got, uh, you got, Is you got true? One, one one foot in the mud and one foot on a gator. Okay, let me ask you a question. Is it true when I watched this uh, show from CBS, uh, what, 60 Minutes, they had this uh, python. Is it true there are pythons out there that are that big, 30, 40 feet? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Shut the front door, man. I, I'd rather have a javelina running in my yard than a python. <laughs> They'll eat a cow. gator. Yeah. Wow. Hey, listen, thanks for calling in, and I appreciate it. Okay. Thank you very much. You bet. Okay, folks, I posted this chart of the hogs, as you'll notice here. Uh, we, we bought it down there at that level where the exact 382 was or excuse me, the ABCD pattern completed, as you can see it coming down here. We had the report today. Now, we sold it here because we made well over $1,400 just on this move. It was actually $1,800. We, some people got $1,400, but it was right here. We sold at 382, and I did not go short there. And the reason why is I feel that this pattern is making a major bottom. Now, we're pulling back here, and, uh, and we're almost at the level where I would be a buyer here and then to see how it goes higher. But that's what we're watching as we as we go through here. Now, you'll notice this part right here. You see that swing off of that? There's point B right here, right off of point B. Now, that was an exact 61% retracement. And then when it back went through this line right here, that was probably the easiest trade of all because look at that. See, that's a, that's a pattern that's failed. It's failed at this 618. And boom, down it goes to the other way. So that's it. What we're looking at crude oil today may or may not work. This is an upside down version of what happens in crude. Just totally the exact same pattern, just flipped upside down. Why is that important? Because when Andrew Lowe wrote his book, The Non-Random Walk Down Wall Street, they looked at all these patterns, and all they did was look at 30,000 patterns, 60,000, what was it, 300? It was a huge amount, 800,000. It was 800,000, 800,000 patterns over a 36-year period, and he proved empirically that these things have two things in common. They repeat over and over again, and they're predictable within limits. And all I do is I take a few little things like A, B, C, D, and a couple of Fibonacci numbers, put them together. Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't, but that's basically you know what we're looking for. So I, ho I hope that. And that's it. So you're trading something like crude oil that's trading for $75,000, and I'm only risking 200 bucks. I'll do that all day long. Just like I'm going to put $5 on the Miami Hurricanes to win the NCAA tournament because of the astrological implications that Mr. Shane Smolian, the WolfTrader.com, gave us. And he told me this morning, he went looked at it real closely, and he said, I'd give this a 70% chance. So at 70%, you get 5 to 1. In other words, if you bet $100, you get back $500. So it's basically, excuse me, 4 to 1. With the probability of winning 70%, boys and girls, you don't get that very often. So put $5 on the Miami Hurricanes, and you'll get back 10. Oh, no, you get back 25. Not so bad. We'll see. And if you think I did that, I still have two shares of the Brooklyn Bridge for you. So uh, we got to hold. We'll see how we're doing with the time here. We got a minute and thirty seconds. Uh, one other caller coming in here. It's, it's a question. It's not. Uh, it's not a call or anything like that. So let's bear with us here uh, a little bit, and we'll see where we are with some of these things. And that's about it, I guess. I don't know where are you at here. Okay, we got the crude oil trading at what is it trading down to? Uh, it's trading down to 24.20 now. So now 
now with uh, with your you made 300 bucks in the crude oil, I would move my stop down to break even at 74. 56 and not worry about it that's what i would do if, if it hits fine if it doesn't it's no big deal and that's uh you know really what we're you know sort of paying attention to here here this morning tomorrow is the big crop report of course and we're going to be watching that one very very close and we'll see what uh see what happens to these we still haven't filled in the the natural gas yet so sort of a disappointment but uh we'll we'll keep our close eye on that one too Okay, uh, if you have any questions, 877-927-6648. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Catch Tom O'Brien, professional trader and educator, founder of TFNN, also a special guest on CNBC. Tom will bisect and dissect the markets. The Tom O'Brien Show, next on TFNN. Okay, folks, I posted the chart of the natural gas. That has about everything on it that this old cowboy has learned over the past 62 years. You've got a monster ABCD with that big black line you can see there. The rally back was exactly 382, a number that uh, really tells you what the trend of the market is. Uh, the ABCD is perfect. The timing is today or tomorrow. So that's something that looks on the monthly chart from lows to highs. And the other thing that's important is you have a beautiful butterfly pattern along with a three drive to a top, three drive to a bottom pattern. 
coming in at this area of around third around 304 203 204 in the May natural gas the April natural gas went way below it so that's a main thing to be uh, looking about as you're ready to do it I'm risking a total of 15 points which is uh, 750 dollars and I think it's worth the risk because the just the 382 retracement would be well over 4,000 that's a just about a you know 10 to 1 15 to 1 uh, payoff so that's why uh, we're looking at those as we see them unfold now whether it's going to happen or not eh, who knows but it's just like anything else you got to know what you're risking and that's exactly what you're risking also keep a close eye uh, tonight tomorrow sometime between here and monday we should hit 4130 in the s p 500 and boy you better pay attention to that one because if we go screaming above 4130 we're going to go a lot higher to the tune of at least the 42s to 44 area. And if we get there, remember the old high was 48. So, boy, oh, boy, things will look pretty good in the United States if things continue that direction. So let's hope that they do and live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may God bless. And make sure you do something nice for your neighbors, folks, because even though the economy looks like it's picking up, there are parts of it where people don't even have any idea of how to get their next meal. So we'll see you on the flip side tomorrow. May God bless. I'm going to do the update in the next uh, 15 minutes, uh, see what the markets are doing, and we'll, uh, we'll go from there. Good to see you tomorrow.